Genesis 27, verses 1 to 14. When Isaac was old and his eyes were so weak that we could no longer see, he called for Esau, his older son, and said to, see, to him, my son. Here I am, he answered. Isaac said, I am now an old man and don't know the day of my death. Now then, get your equipment, your quiver, and bow, and go out to the open country to hunt some wild game for me. Prepare me the kind of tasty food I like and bring it to me to eat so that I may give you my blessing before I die. Now Rebecca was listening as Isaac spoke to his son Esau. When Esau left for the open country to hunt game and bring it back, Rebecca said to her son Jacob, Look, I overheard your father say to your brother Esau, Bring me some game and prepare me some tasty food to eat, so that I may give you my blessing in the presence of the Lord before I die. Now, my son, Listen carefully and do what I tell you. Go out to the flock and bring me two choice young goats so I can prepare some tasty food for your father just the way he likes it. Then take it to your father to eat so that he may give you his blessing before he dies. Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, but my brother Esau is a hairy man while I have smooth skin. What if my father touches me? I would appear to be tricking him and would bring down a curse on myself rather than a blessing. His mother said to him, Oh, my son, let the curse fall on me. Just do what I say. Go and get them for me. So Jacob went and got them and brought them to his mother, and she prepared some tasty food just the way his father liked it. Is there anything good in this story? Is anybody happy at the end? The contrary, it ended up a broken home and four people hurt by one another. Let's analyze this. Isaac had a favorite son as well, Esau. And if I may say, if you're a parent, and if you have more than one child, <coughs> the most hurtful thing that can happen in your family is to pick a favorite. We should love them all the same. Amen. Isaac witnessed the deep pain that Rebecca and Jacob inflicted in his favorite son Esau. Isaac saw his favorite son cry bitterly, although Esau was a strong and courageous man. Isaac was separated from his son Jacob for more than 20 years. Isaac, behind Rebekah's back, was going against the will of God in order to bless his favorite son. And he knew, Isaac knew, that Esau was not chosen by God. Isaac overlooked Esau's faults. This story, as sad as it is, has a parallel with the church today. Like Isaac, some of make, um, I'm sorry, like Isaac, some of us have made some people in the church like Esau 
the favorite son. And we turn our back to the Jacobs that are not in the church. Those that God wants to save and to bless and give them his promises as well. We overlook the faults of the Esau's that are in the church. We don't say anything to the Esau's that despise God's blessings and wrongly believe that because they are in the church, they are saved. But they live the same or worse than before they came to church. We don't say anything to the Esau's that do not seek God's approval. Although Isaac and Esau knew the will of God, but they went against it. My brother, my sister, my friend, are you sensitive to the voice of God? Or are you paying attention to other things or other people? My brother, my sister, who are you listening to? Are you listening to God and the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. If Jesus Christ is truly the Lord of your life, if you have truly surrendered your life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, if you acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Lord, your Savior, your boss, your master, your supreme leader, Amen. then the first thing you need to do is to seek the will of God for your life. Amen. And secondly, make a commitment like Jesus and his disciples and so many millions of Christians make the commitment to do the will of God. Amen. 